Qatar is a small country in the Middle East. Its capital is Doha, which is home to 80% of the nation's population. Qatar is extremely hot and arid, with an average temperature reaching 42 degrees in the summer. Qatar has been inhabited by humans for 50,000 years and has been part of different empires. In more recent times, it's been owned by the Ottomans and the British. Britain granted it independence in 1971. Qatar is ruled by the Al Thani family. In 1995, Emre Hamid bin Khalifa Al Thani seized control of the country from his father. Qatar is officially a semi-constitutional monarch, but in practice is still an absolute monarchy. Qatar's population is made up of 88% migrant workers, 60% of whom are from South Asia. Part of the problem of Qatar's human rights issues revolves around the abuse of migrant workers, many of whom find it difficult to change jobs, especially women who work as domestic workers. According to Qatar's constitution, Sharia law is the main source of Qatari legislation, although in practice Qatar's legal system is a mixture of civil law and Sharia law. This creates equality issues for homosexuals and women. Homosexuality can be punished by up to seven years in jail. Meanwhile, Sharia law-based family courts treat females' testimonies as worth half of that of men. Women also fall under the guardianship system. Women need a male guardian's permission for key life decisions, such as to marry, to work in government jobs, to travel abroad, and to receive certain reproductive health care. Oil was discovered in Qatar in 1940. The discovery transformed the state's economy. Now the country has a high standard of living for its legal citizens, with no income tax, almost no unemployment, and a GDP per capita of over 62,000, making it one of the highest in the world. Currently, Qatar relies heavily on natural gas reserves, but is looking to develop other long-term options. In recent years, there's been a big push for tourism, and this is partly why they hosted the Football World Cup. 